Hi guys, Mike Greer here with a quick walkthrough of one of my favorite apps ever, and that's Podcast Addict. I use it to load up interesting episodes of my favorite podcasts and take them with me, whether I'm exercising or out there shopping, getting bored, standing in line. I'm going to open it up. These are all the podcasts that I'm subscribed to. That doesn't mean that I get every episode of every podcast pushed my way every day and clogging up my phone's data. What it does mean, though, is that I can jump into one. Let's say here I'm clicking on 1A, and this shows me the most recent episodes, and I can look through there, learn more, decide if I want to download that episode, go up here to the top, click download, and there it starts coming down. Go down here to the bottom on the little plus sign and say add to my playlist. So, going back to my podcast listings, I can set these up to download a certain number of episodes for each individual podcast. I can set it up to delete older episodes so that I only keep the most recent ones available. I'm going to go up here to the top and my click on that and press playlist. And now you see the episodes that are being pulled in when I refreshed or opened up the app this morning. And so I got NPR News Now, Daily Tech Headlines, and so forth, things that I've wanted to listen to on my walk or my exercise routine there. Let's go back here. I like up first. I'm going to refresh that by pulling down and you see here that up first is downloading and I've set up first to automatically throw itself into my playlist so that's pretty cool I can add a podcast with the podcast search when I go to my podcast list I go up here and press the plus to add and say okay I'm gonna go into its search engine and let's say I'm interested in a podcast I heard about called Planet Money. And there it is, suggested. Up comes Planet Money. I see that there's 300 episodes of Planet Money available, the last one being updated just 14 hours ago. So I'm going to press on that to click on those 303 episodes. And up they come. I can look through them. I can say, which ones do I want to see there? You see, I've already listened to back when. I listened to a couple of them when I subscribed and then unsubscribed. War and Peace Cows. That sounds interesting, so let's click on that. I can learn a little more about that podcast. So I'm going to go up to the top here, back to my menu, choose my podcast list. And now you can see all of these podcasts are ones that I'm potentially interested in that I have subscribed to, and I can set some of these, like the NPR News Now. These are automatically updated as soon as NPR News pushes out a new episode, which is every hour. It's Then they're just little, as you see over here, they're only like three minutes long or so. They come rolling out and get pushed into my playlist. So here's the playlist. Now what I'd like to do is make sure I'm going to see the news first. Let's say I want to hear that. So I'm going to say move to top. And it just pushed my NPR news summary to the top of the list. And as you see, there's a lot of choices there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start this podcast. And when I start playing it. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Lori London. Now, here's what you got here. Notice up here at the top, it says 1.2. You can press this. I listen to... NPR News at 1.2 times regular speed. I can, in fact, punch that clear up to one and a half times. So let's hear it now. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Lori London. Congressional Republicans have reached an agreement. So there we got the ability to adjust the speed for those podcasts that uh, you, you want to just kind of blitz through quickly. So I'm going to put it back to my 1.2. There's also a sleep timer here. If I found a music podcast, that I was listening to or some peaceful uh, meditation stuff that I wanted to listen to. I could always set my sleep timer for a certain number of minutes or hours and stop at the end. 
So, um, whoops, I'm going to cancel that. Uh, you can also press the star, which I just did up here. See that little star allows me to add this episode to my favorite to make sure that this episode, so let's say I'm listening to one that I really like and I'd like to make sure that I don't lose it. Um, that frequently is the case for these 1A episodes. They're pretty cool. So let's say I want to make sure that's a favorite. I press the star and it will be saved and not automatically deleted. Another very cool feature that I use frequently is something called radio stations. What you see here is a list of stations that I've identified as things that I want to listen to that just stream, not having to choose podcasts, but just let them play like you would a radio station. And in some cases, there are even beautiful music stations. There's whispering solo pianos. As I noted earlier, that's the kind of thing you could use uh, along with a sleep timer to kind of go to sleep um, when you're having a tough time falling asleep. It took you a little bit of time to connect to that. So there it plays. I press stop, go back to my radio stations list, and up comes a whole bunch of other stations. So I'd, one of the coolest things I do with this is, uh, like right now you see it's 9.30 here in, in California. I can go to my Hawaii public radio where it's 6.30 in the morning, three hours earlier, and if I, missed, for streaming comes if I missed a bro particular broadcast like my NPR uh, morning edition, I can From catch it here. From the National Kidney Foundation of Hawaii, whose Kidney Cars program... Pro so it's very cool. You can a lot of flexibility and a lot of power. If you're connected to the Internet, these Internet-based uh, streaming stations can get you pretty much any kind of information you're, you're uh, looking for. There's also a comedy station, a couple of bunch of... So anything you can think of to look up in term, you go to radio stations and click on plus in order to search for a new station. Or you can press the search thing and use the external search engine and look for, let's say I want something in Boise, Idaho, for example. That's maybe one way I'd look up a station. And up come some choices. So you can see from this list of stations that there's a bunch of choices from the Boise, Idaho area, of all places, where I can subscribe to any of these and I can hear them any place in the world, anytime I want. There are way more features of this incredible app that I haven't even begun to discuss here. But opening one of the podcasts, you see that we have granular control. I'm going up here to the menu again, and I can uh, change its display settings, mark them all as played, and so forth. Or I can go to the settings for that podcast here with a little sprocket and press that and up come an enormous selection of controls that I have. I can override the artwork. I can set up filters for episodes by keywords. I can, you know, you get fairly geeky. The download frequency, the download limit, the order that they're downloaded, whether or not it's thrown automatically into the playlist. So altogether, we've got powerful search features automatic downloads, auto-delete after so many episodes, sleep timers, speed adjustments. I mean, you name it, this thing gives you the tools that you need to, to curate your own news, to get information and entertainment sources from all over the planet. Save them, don't save them, play them, live stream, whatever. It's an incredibly powerful little app. So, Podcast Addict. Check it out.